So here we are then, ladies and gents, at the Hive once again, almost a year on from the last time we were here on the channel when Boreham Wood came to the Hive in the playoff quarterfinals. Barnett made it a step further, as mentioned earlier in the previews. They are in the semi final tonight. It's solid home moors here for a 5 30 kickoff and a place at Wembley is up for grabs. As again, I already stated, there's a massive game today. And as you can see, for those who were here against Boreham Wood last year, and for those who have watched the vlog account already, feel free to go and do that. This ground is way more packed than it was for Boreham Wood, which is really surprising considering Boreham Wood are obviously Barnett's rivals. It's really telling how much you here can do in football because obviously Boreham Wood were here in the quarterfinals last year, went on to play, not counting the semis and lost within seconds of the full time whistle and getting to Wembley. They are now relegated to the National South, so a year can be a long time in football and uh, it certainly is in Boreham Wood's case. But today, Barnett are back again in the playoffs for Solly Holm Wars at home. We've already got the Barnet contingent making a lot of noise up there, as are the visiting Solihull Wolves fans at the top in the right corner there. You can see them bouncing around making a lot of noise. Up there. So here we go then, ladies and gents. It is playoff semi final action here at the Hive as Barnet take on Solly Hole Moors for a shot for glory at Wembley next week in the playoff final. How much it would mean for these two sides. Barnet haven't played EFL football since the 2018 19 season. To give you context of how long that has been, Luton Town are now playing in the Premier League. They were, that was the season they got promoted from League Two. So the Bees, it's been ages since they have tasted EFL football. But for Solihull Moors, to my knowledge, they never have tasted it. They are eager to satisfy that hunger for EFL football. Today, if they can win, will be a huge step. They face second place in the National League, Barnet. Kickoff is coming up. It's a deja vu really for Barnet at the moment here. Like I said last year we were here and that exact same away end filled with Boreham Wood fans. They're up to a jubilation and that is exactly what the Solihull Moors fans have done. Six minutes in here at the high. The excellent header right into the far corner. Their first attack of the game. Brilliant. Terrible marking for Barnet and Solihull Moors take the lead in this semi-final. They are heading at the moment for Wembley two times in the space of a week. Thank <laughs> you. 
excellent header off the line. But he really is back against the wall at the moment, so the solid hard walls. This is not going well, is it? This is one of the top two so far, I think. Really is a case of deja vu now for the Bees. 2 0 down, and at a similar time that they were against Boreham Wood as well. Oh dear, and it is, it really is. An excellent performance in terms from Solihull in terms of they've been up against it for the last sort of 10 15 minutes. Their goal, their first goal was from their first chance of the game, and this second goal is from the second chance of the game. So you've got to say, excellent breakaway play from Solihull. They are doing their job, and it looks like at the moment they are on their way to Wembley once again this season. With Barnet have it all to do, they need a goal back quickly. Satisfactory performance in this first half from Barnet. First 30, 35 minutes or so was excellent from the Bees. They did everything right going forward except score two chances for Solihull Moors, two goals. Clinical on the business. And there's an excellent performance from them so far. But as it stands, Barnet are heading out of the playoffs. Half time, Barnet nil, Solihull 2. Get behind the boys. Give them the support they need. Wembley bound for the second time this season. They have dispatched a very, very good Barnet side. They have made them look like a mid-table side at best today. Not been good enough from Barnet in the second half and whatsoever. And the playoffs again is where their season falls short. And it will be Solly Hole Moore, so we'll be battling it out against Bromley or Altrincham next Saturday afternoon at Wembley. A bit scrappy, but the ball is hit the net, and that is all that matters. Solly Hull are on their way to Wembley.
Playoff semi final annihilation here at the Hive. Barnet, the players should really hold their heads in shame tonight. They have been absolutely awful in this second half. And these Solihull Moor fans, they are loving life, and as they should, because their team has been absolutely brilliant today. More on that at full time, but as you can hear to my left, it is Wembley again for Solihull Moors. Confirmed if it wasn't already. Congratulations, Solly Holmores. You are heading to Wembley for the National League playoff final next Saturday against Bromley or Altrincham. And um, what a performance it was as well. 4 0 away from home against second place in the league, Barnet. Well and truly made them look like a mid table to bottom half of the table side. And as I said after the fourth goal, the, Brom the Barnet sorry, players really do need to have a think about themselves tonight. Absolutely awful in that second half. Showed no fight, showed no desire. They have really let their fans down today. But for Solihull Moors, it will be a party in the Midlands for the yellow and blue as they will be hitting North West London two times in the space of a week for the National League playoff final and the FA Trophy final as well. So there's a chance of two trophies before the end of the season and of course that elusive promotion to the EFL which they have so which they've craved for so so long and again hats off to every single one of them Solly Holmore fans they made a lot of noise every, even when it was nil nil before they went on their scoring rampage and they were there singing their absolute heart out and they have continued to do that into the night here and you can see what it means to these Moors fans and these Moors players. Congratulations, Solihull Moors. You are heading to Wembley once again.
but for Barnet, it is another season in the fifth tier of English football, in non-league, in the National League, and they will have to go again next year. Full time here at the Hive, it is Barnet nil, Solomon Wolf four. So that is it then, and we're in the car now, just to add to what I said in the ground, yeah. Really unfortunate for Barnet today, I was coming into this one thinking that they were going to not wipe the floor with Solihull, like Solihull did today, but I thought they were going to win, probably 2-1, 3-1, 3-2, I thought it was going to be a bit close, but I thought it would be uh, Barnet who would be booking their place in the final uh, next week, but no, it was Solihull, they showed up and they showed grit, determination, passion. And that is what got them this 4-0 win today. And it just seemed like toward the end of the game, into the second half and throughout the second half, Barnett just did not want it at all. They just looked so lacklustre, misplacing passes and solid hole capitalised. They wanted it. They showed the aggression. They showed the grit at the back as well whenever Barnett did come forward and offered something. Uh, and yeah, they, they got their reward. And that is, like I said so many times already, another final at Wembley. What are your thoughts on that one? It was an awful game. Yeah. As, as a Barnet supporter, that was terrible. I would never, coming as a neutral, I never would have thought they were second in the league. Yeah. No chance. Yeah, and, and that's another really unfortunate thing for the Barnet fans, you know, like coming into this in second place, such a positive ending to the season as well. You think, like I said, you'd think a performance better than tonight would have would have happened. Like a win, maybe necess not necessarily a win, but a better performance nonetheless. Like not getting hammered 4-0 at home in the playoff semi-finals. Absolutely not good enough and they really have to prove their worth next season, either getting into the playoffs again and performing better or going up automatically in the top spot. But like I said, for now then, it is Solihull Moors who have put their place in the National League playoff final. And here it is on your screen, the Wembley Arch in the background. You can see Solihull Moors will be playing there next Saturday as they take on Bromley or Altrincham in the final for a place in the EFL next season. Um, thank you very much, everyone, for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. Commiserations to Barnet fan. Congratulations, Solihull Moors. And I'll see you guys in the next one. See you later.